TNM staging of breast cancer is kind of an important one, starting from second year of MBBS. So it's very important that we memorize this. So today we'll be discussing the NCCN latest updates, which is ACCC eighth edition of breast carcinoma, which is TNM staging. So yeah, let's begin. So just like any other malignancy, we have TNM staging for breast cancer. T is divided into T1, T2, T3, and T4. It is easy to remember T1, T2, and T3, but we often get confused at T4. So I've made some simple mnemonics to remember. Let's see how it goes. T1 is tumor less than 2 cm in size. T2 is 2 to less than or equal to 5 cm. T3 is, is any tumor more than 5 cm in size. T4 is further divided into 4A, 4B, 4C, and 4D. Just remember like this, 4, it is again subdivided into 4 types. Remember the simple mnemonic 4A stands for Sir, Sir. 4B stands for Us. Sir is S stands for Serratus anterior. I for intercostal muscles. And R stands for ribs. This does not include pectoralis major. 4A is involvement of chest wall. But this does not include pectoralis major. This is the important point to remember. And 4B is beauty orange. U stands for ulceration of skin. And S stands for satellite nodules. But involvement of dermis is not considered as 4B. This is the important point. This was mentioned in CCN guidelines. 4C stands for 4A plus 4B and 4D is inflammatory breast carcinoma. There are certain criteria to designate it as inflammatory breast carcinoma which are the tumor should have evolved very rapidly over less than 6 months duration and it should be involving more than one third of the breast and there could be presence of erythema or edema. So a 4B is designated as 4D when it has evolved when it has evolved rapidly over less than six months, or it has extensive involvement of the breast, which is involving more than one third of the surface. It can even spread to adjacent skin or adjacent breast as well. T1 is further subdivided into 1A, 1B, and 1C, but it, I'll not be going into details because that will not change the management of this patient. Next, coming to end staging of the TNM. Before going into the end staging, I would like to clear some basic concepts. So ax the lymphatic drainage of the breast is 75% drains into axillary lymph nodes. So what are these axillary lymph nodes? There are three levels of axillary lymph nodes, level 1, level 2, and level 3. They go along the axillary ar vessels, the axillary artery and vein. So level 1 is nodes lateral to pectoralis minor. Level 2 is just behind the pectoralis minor. Level 3 is medial to pectoralis minor. One important concept that we need to remember here is that level 3 is nothing but infraclavicular. This is not usually mentioned in tech, uh, anatomy textbooks, but it is clearly stated in HSC guidelines. And supraclavicular lymph nodes, the some part of the breast can then further drain from level 3 into supraclavicular lymph nodes as well. So with this basic concepts in mind, let's see the end staging. N1, N2, and N3. So just remember like this, N1 has only uh, there is no other subclassification. 2 has 2 subcategories. 3 has 3 subcategories. And 1 is ipsilateral mobile lymph nodes. Freely mobile. And 2 is 2A and 2B. Ipsilateral matted lymph nodes are 2A. Ipsilateral axillary matted lymph nodes. But remember that it is clearly mentioned in the guidelines that it is only level 1 and level 2. In 2B, there is involvement of ipsilateral. Supposing the breast carcinoma is on the right side. Ipsilateral internal mammary alone. N3 is further divided into 3A, 3B and 3C. So in 3A, there is presence of ipsilateral axillary lymph nodes along with level 3 1, 2 and 3 are involved 
involvement of third group that is infraclavicular so in the staining systems usually it is mentioned as infraclavicular group there is nothing but level 3 lymph nodes 3b is nothing but 2a plus 2b which is axillary plus internal memory just remember is that it has 2a and 2b cc is supraclavicular Three A is, is intraclavicular, three C is supraclavicular. This is clinical staging of breast cancer. So let's see the theory part. As I have told already, T1 is less than two less than or equal to two centimeters. T2 is two to five centimeters. The tumor is five centimeters without any involvement of skin. Then it is considered as T2. T3 is more than five centimeters. T4, T4A is involvement of chest wall. That is sir. 4B is involvement of skin, which is pus. 4C is 4A plus 4B. 4D is rapid onset of breast erythema, evolving over a duration of less than six months, and it is occupying at least one third of the breast. And there should be pathological confirmation of invasive carcinoma. There are some basic concepts that we need to understand here. We see that certain point in certain at certain places they are designated as an I plus or MI. So what does this actually stand for? I plus is less than 0.2 mm tumor deposits in lymph node. Micrometastasis is when there is 0.2 to 2 mm size deposits, which is around approximately around 200 cells. The only important thing that we need to note is that if in a pathological report it is mentioned as I plus, it is not going to upstage the TNM. That is, it is considered as M0 and M0 I plus. Whereas, if it is micrometastasis, it is going to upstage it. So, M1 MI, N1 MI, N1 MI micromites. Metastasis is anything more than 2 mm. At MBBS level, you need not know this pathological classification, but it, it is important if you are going for general surgery or some other uh, surgical branch. So, TNM staging has two stages. One is clinical, the other is pathological, as reported by the pathologist. So, in a pathological staging system, the end staging is slightly different from clinical. Based on the number of nodes retrieved, the P TNM staging is done. That is PN staging. So let's see what it is. It is divided into same as clinical N1, N2, and N3. If 1 to 3 axillary lymph nodes are positive, it is considered as N1. 4 to 9 axillary lymph nodes are positive, it is considered as N2. And if 10 or more axillary lymph nodes are positive, then it is considered as N3. So just depend. Seeing this classification, we can say that the minimum number of lymph nodes that we need to retrieve in a MRM is minimum 10 to act to stage it accurately this is the reason why we need to remove at least minimum 10 lymph nodes in our mrm n1 are sub again divided into n1a and n1b n2 is divided to 2a 2b and tc but i'll not be going into the details because that is not important for surgical aspects i hope i have made this staging system easier for all of you let me know in the comment section below which staging system you would like to See you next.